Hi guys, welcome back. This is Code Forces round 895 div 3 and we're going to solve the second problem, the corridor out there and back again. So uh, we are in a corridor and uh, let's assume that from left to right there are infinite number of rooms. So we start at room 1 and go till room K. K is something that we need to decide and we have to return back to room 1. We travel from room 1 to room K and return back to room 1. Room one. Uh, so when we are uh, moving from one room to other, it takes one second. Okay. But what is the catch here? The constraints are when we are moving from uh, rooms, right? Room 1, like there are multiple traps that have been set. So when you enter a room that is having a trap, after you enter that, the trap's time gets activated. So for simplicity, let's assume it's like a bomb and like a time bomb. When I go to that room, the time bomb gets activated. And when I just keep on moving, and if the time bomb uh, like reduces to zero, I'll be killed. So like uh, the bomb, the room gets blasted. So I can't go back to one, right? So that is the thing. In this case, they are telling that if the time reaches, uh, if the time maximizes or time reaches to zero, uh, the trap gets closed, you can't go back. So we need to find the maximum value of K that is possible, uh, where we can go till K and reach back to one, but we are not trapped anywhere. So we have to reach room one safely with that K. So let's understand this with the help of an example. Uh, I took this value, this uh, example here, that is uh, bomb, uh, like trap is placed at room two, trap is placed at room four, trap is placed at room five. And uh, uh, this is like uh, after I enter room two, after eight seconds, the trap gets closed. After three seconds, the trap gets closed. After two seconds, the trap gets closed. So eight, three, two, right? So I can write it like, this is 8, 3, 2. Now, for simplicity, let's assume uh, the k value, I'm taking it as 2. k value, I'm taking it as 6. Is it possible or not? I'm, I just don't know. So, I go here. Once I reach here, the time gets activated, right? So, if I move here, it is 1, again 2. Every movement takes uh, 1 second. So, this is 3. This is, what, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In the 8th second, I reached 2 for k value as 6. I did not consider this only for 2. If uh, we reach at 8 and the time is also 8, I get trapped there, right? I can't go. So, a k equal to 6 is definitely not going to be possible. So, what do I do now? I need to reduce the k value, right? So, here 8 is there. Now, I can reduce the k value as 5. I'm just assuming. So, it is 1, 2, 3, I have to go back 4, 5, 6. I reached at 6 and I'm going back to this. So at the 7th second, I reached to 1. But here the timer is at 7 only. I did not get blasted. So I am safe. I mean, I am 7th represents the uh, after I reached to, it took me 7 seconds to go back. So timer is not activated. So I am safe. 5 is one possible solution. So what can I say for 2? The maximum possibility is 5 only. For 4, how much we can go? Can we go till 6? We can't go from 4 to 6, right? Because for 2, we already know that the maximum value is 5. So if we cross 5 any time, even though if 4 uh, is okay, if 4 time, timer is like 100, and we can go like this any time, but if we come back, this might already be blasted or trapped, so we are not using it. So we'll take only uh, till 5. Now for 4, 1, 2, 3, it is not possible. 1, 2. So 2 is there. When this gets trapped, right, we are already here. 1, 2, 3. We are already in the third position when the uh, fourth room gets trapped. Now for 5, they told maximum time limit is 2. I can't go till 6. 5 is the maximum limit. For 4 also, 5 is the maximum limit. For 5, I just stay here and come back. That's all. If I Even if I go now, like 1, 2, I will be blasted. So that's all. So we just have to know maximum limit that is possible. So again, like for two, if it is like 100, we just want to know the ma minimum position. For two, the maximum position is like, uh, let's say timer is 100 means maximum position I can go is K equal to 10, 20, like that I'm simply assuming it is safe. For four, if it is like 50 is the timer means I can go maximum till K value as eight, like example only. Uh, so I have to cut, I cannot go till K equal to 10, I need to cut here. And again, if I is giving some uh, time limit as 20 means, suppose K value is 7, I need to cut here. So these are some examples. This can be A value, K equal to B and K equal to C. C is less than or equal to B less than A. So I just want to find what is the minimum distance I can cover. The maximum distance that I can cover, but if we include everything, 
what is the minimum k position that comes here the maximum of each number and the minimum of all of them now uh, how do we code it so as we know this is at the second position we need to know what is the number i need to go right till k we already know the time limit here if we are adding we have to go and come back so we need to divide by 2 8 by 2 is 4 but if we take the exact number 2 plus 4 equal to 6 when we went to 6 initially the trap gets trapped right we are exactly at 8 so what do we do we subtract 1 from it that is 8 minus 1 is 7 7 by 2 is how much uh, 3 I mean take the floor value 2 plus 3 is what 5 so we are exactly at 5 so even if we are subtracting 1 we are safe that we won't cross it when the uh, trap is already trapped okay similarly for 4 how much you do 4 plus 3 is the exact number so you do 3 minus 1 2 by 2 is 1 again this is 5 then for 5 5 is how much 5 plus 2 minus 1 by 2 that is zero, uh, 1 by 2 is 0 so 5 so you take the minimum of all of this the minimum of all of this will be the answer so everyone is giving you a certain k position the maximum k position possible and out of the maximum k position possible for each room you just say that what is the minimum k from it why are we telling it's the minimum because once we cross something uh, uh, max value and the minimum k is here the room that is responsible for it will automatically get trapped so we should not take it and how did we code it you just take a vector of pairs uh, the first number will be the room number and the second will be the time limit in vector of pairs room 1 time 1 room 2 time 2 like that now what did i do v of i dot first and v of i dot second minus 1 by 2 same so this is the uh, v of i dot first 2 plus v of i dot second is the time that is 8 minus 1 divided by 2 to get the max limit that is possible divided by 2 and you put k so once you keep on iterating for 2 4 and 5 what is the minimum k value you are getting this gives the maximum k value for that particular room out of the maximum k value i need to find the minimum k value that is possible so that's all and once you get the answer you just simply print k and this is the accepted solution so if you want you can refer that's it thank you see you in the next video and if you have anything please share it in the comments